of next week's UN Climate Summit, Taya News is taking a deeper look at the effects of climate change. Just yesterday, NOAA announced this past summer ties 2016 for the hottest on record in the northern hemisphere. This morning, though, I want to focus on sea level rise and its impact to San Diego. Yesterday, we looked at the data that shows sea levels have risen 8 inches since 1900, and scientists expect roughly another 2 to 7 more feet of sea level rise this century. Imperial Beach is one of the most vulnerable in California, and as the sea rises, flooding from extreme high tides and winter swell will increase. 10 News looked into a program designed to give people ample warning called the Resilient Futures Program. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography monitors a network of instruments that measure waves and water levels, creating a three or four day warning that flooding could occur. Just like it, it helps to have a weather forecast if there's going to be a, a extreme uh, rain event or wind event coming up, more and more there's going to be the value uh, of having advanced warning of an ocean event, like a flooding event. A buoy like this one is already two miles off the coast of Imperial Beach, transmitting data back to scientists, and they hope to one day expand the program to other beaches. Tomorrow, I'll show you how climate change is affecting wildfires here in San Diego.